Hi, it's Yoji Carlson here, and the release of the Super Mario Bros. movie draws ever nearer. This gamer is looking forward to it, and of course I'm picking up several of the tie-in toys that are being put out by Jack Pacific in honor of the movie. Today we're taking a look at Mario's brother, Luigi. Luigi, of course, debuted circa 1983 in the arcade game Mario Brothers, in which he appeared alongside his brother Mario fighting monsters in the sewer. His name actually comes from the Japanese word Ruiji, which means similar, because in the old games he's basically a different colored clone of Mario. Although there are a lot of games where he gets to branch out, do his own thing, and have his own stats. I'm going to unbox Luigi here, share my opinions, and let me know if I recommend this figure or not. Nice close-up of the box there. Again, thank you so much to Jack Specific for putting these in boxes and not on those blister packs. This is what every toy should come in. Top of the box, bottom of the box. I do like how the box is sort of color-coded, like Mario had a lot of red, so Luigi's got a lot of green. There's a zoom back shot. His accessory, of course, is his flashlight. Nice close-up of him there. On the back, we have Luigi himself. The figure boasts that it includes you know, realistic eyes, premium details, and 16 points of articulation. Now let's pop him open and see what we get in here. Here he is on his plastic backing card. And in the movie, Luigi is going to be voiced by Charlie Day. Previous voice actors to portray Luigi include Danny Wells, who played him on the Super Mario Super Show, both in animation and live action, Tony Rosato, who played him in the Super Mario 3 and Super Mario World cartoon, and in the mainstream games since about the mid-90s, he's been voiced by Charles Martinet, who of course most notably voices Mario. So, I'll just go from head to toe on the figure and show you what we get here. Luigi, of course, has always looked pretty similar to Mario, but he's a little taller and his mustache looks a little different. And, of course, he goes for green instead of red. Like with the Mario figure, I'm actually pretty impressed with the amount of detail that's here. Like the ridges of the hair, the lines of the denim, you know, his hat, and you got those eyes. Again, I'm kind of torn as to how I feel on these eyes. They're very well detailed and certainly look like the character, but they do creep me out a little bit. There's a close-up of Luigi's face. His mustache actually looks very nice. His head rotates, you can swivel up and down just a little. His arms are you know, ball joint arms. Same deal on this side. Elbows are articulated. His gloved hands can rotate. Of course, when you're a plumber, you kind of have to have gloves because it's literally a dirty job. And then, you know, his waist can rotate a little, and he can also you know, swivel at the waist. Here's a look at his, his backside. And I, I do have the same complaint, though, I had with the Mario figure. Just the crotch area, where the points of leg articulation are, those look very unnatural and weird. I almost would have preferred a little less articulation here to make that look more natural. But you know, he does have the ball joint legs. Knees are articulated. And his feet can, you know, rotate and swivel a little. And like I said, he does come with an accessory, as the other figures do. In this case, he's got his flashlight. Like Mario, he's got one hand that's open and one hand that's a gripping hand. So let's see if we can get this flashlight in here. Okay, and there we've got it in. I, I did cut the video for time there, but it took me about a minute to finally pry that in there. And that... Flashlight accessory does look pretty nice. I guess you're going to explore like deep, dark sewer tunnels and pipes. Having a flashlight on hand is probably a good idea. Not to mention, Luigi's fought a lot of you know, paranormal enemies in the Luigi's Mansion games, so him having a flashlight on hand is certainly a good thing. So overall, Luigi's a pretty impressive looking figure from this line, and the criticisms I have are mainly the same ones that I have for Mario, namely the uh, unnatural looking you know, crotch area and leg articulation. And the, the $20 price tag is a little steep. I wish it was maybe five bucks cheaper. But again, I have paid for other toys from other lines that were much smaller than this and did less. So Jack Pacific overall has done a very good job on Luigi and most of the other figures that I've looked at so far. 
Are you looking forward to the Super Mario Brothers movie? Have you picked up any of these toys yet? What did you think of Luigi if you got him? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And be sure to give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.